Have you ever wondered what your future is going to be like? Like what you're going to do in the future? What your future job is going to be? What just what you want to do with your life in the future compared to now? Like what do you want to do? Have you ever wondered that? I've been thinking about it lately. I read a lot recently for the past maybe year or so. What do I want to do with my life in the future? What do I want to do with my future for a job? and my life. It's not a question that you can really answer. I don't know. I don't know what I, where I'm going with this video, but I kind of feel like I just want to, I don't know, have a random little rant or little talk. I don't know, just get things off my mind and I don't know, kind of let you guys into my thoughts on how I think and how I've been thinking and maybe ask your opinion or you know maybe open up your minds a little bit but have you ever wondered that though just like how the human mind works and how how life is everyone has this perfect little I don't know perfect little image in their head mostly it's like the main just think of like the mainstream image People want everyone to have a job. People want everyone to have money. People want everyone to have a job, money, and a family. All that, like they just—it's like the mainstream circle of life. The main things everyone wants is money, family, and a job that pays well. But when you think about it, is it really what they want? Like, are they forced into ha wanting these things, or is, do they actually want a job like they have, um, and a family like they have? Like, maybe some people don't want a family. Maybe some people don't want to be working that job, but they have to because, well, in today's day and age, you got to work to have money, and to have money, you need money to survive. You need money for food, you need money for a house. If you want to enjoy things like YouTube, internet, video games, you need money to do that. But do they enjoy the job to get the money? Do they enjoy what they do in their life? <coughs> I just wondered, do you, how many people like actually like enjoy these things? Like you have jobs like builders, uh, chefs, what else? Like you know constructors and. All this other bullshit, like, stuff like that, that doesn't really interest me, but, like, do they really enjoy that? Because, I don't know, I've been thinking a lot lately, and I, like, here on the radio, like, enroll your children in the school, no, school's infrastructure, fucking, we're setting up your child's future for some bullshit, and they're talking about, like, architecture and water infrastructure, and I'm just like... Do they really want that? Who wants that? Like, sure, if you want that, then go for it. Do whatever you want. But how many people have jobs like that, don't actually want that? They're forced into it because they need an income like that. I've, I've been, I don't know, thinking about it and hearing it a lot and being around it. And it's really, I don't know, daunting because I don't want to make a choice myself on something I, w I don't want to do. Um, and I don't even know what I fully want to do yet. I wouldn't mind being a video game developer. I'm looking into a course to do that for video game developing. But what what if down the line that falls out? What else do I want to do? You know, I used to want to be a chef. Like, there's so many opportunities for you to do. But it's not always about the opportunities that come up. It's about what you want to do with your life. I've always seen life, or I always see life now as, it's not about the future, it's not about the past, not exactly. It's about what you're doing now, what you're doing living your life now. Life is basically a whole cycle of days, of, like, I don't even know how to explain it. Life is like a cycle of hot, like all these days, and once those days are up, 
what do you have left from it, your life? Memories. Memories and thoughts. I don't know what happens when you die one day, but I believe... I think it's going to be thoughts. You'll be really living your life in your head, in your soul, basically, or whatever, by all these thoughts. I don't know, that's what I've thought. There's heaps of different opinions on that. But one day, if that is the case, you want to live every day to have different memories and thoughts. So people are stressing about what they want to do with their future and what they've done in the past and like, why don't you focus on now? Why don't you focus on now to be your future, if that makes sense? Why do you have to set yourself up for a future now? Why can't you do it a little bit later? I don't know, like, people rush so many things because they're afraid that they're not going to get anywhere. If you want to do something, anything, you can make it happen, but only if you make it happen, if that makes sense. You can have anything you want. You just got to find a way and work for it and get it. Nothing comes to you in life. Nothing at all comes to you. You can't open your hands and ask for it to be put inside your hands. You have to go and grab it. You can't sit there and wait for it. That is why people, I don't understand why people do jobs and have their future set up for something they don't want. want. Why don't you just close your hands and say, no, I don't want that. I want this. I'm going to set this goal. I'm going to go and get it. Why can't they do that? Why can't they focus on now? Make their memories now. Be the happiest you can with your life now. And then the next day, and the next, and the next, etc. Make every day a happy memory. If you can't, then focus through the hard times. Get through them. Remember the hard times, because they're going to be memories as well. But m focus, just like, focus to make every day a happy memory. Do something that makes you happy. Do something that you'll remember. Do something that you want to achieve. Do a goal. Do something that makes you feel good. Be happy. Be yourself. Don't. I just. This is. I guess I'm just giving you advice to you guys in this last part. Don't get caught in the mainstream. Don't get caught in the herd. Don't get caught in the river. Just. What? <laughs> I don't know. Just don't get caught up with everyone else. Do what you want. If there's someone around you in your life saying, no, do this, this is better for your life, this gives you more income, no, this is a better job, you say, no, no, it's not. Even though it might be a better income than that, yes, that is true, but it is not true if you don't enjoy it. you got to enjoy something in your life. You can't just do everything because it's a better option for them. You gotta do something the better option for you. If more income is a better option for you, then choose it. But don't regret it down the line where you don't enjoy it. Have something that you want and enjoy. Don't get caught up in like the mainstream of everyone else and what they think is the best. That's why it annoys me about this day and age because schools and colleges and universities are. They have all these different things saying, like, we're setting you up for your future. Sure, if you go to university, you get to pick your future and your course and stuff like that. But schools necessarily don't do that in some places. Blah, blah, places like that. I don't know, I've seen it a lot. It, uh, and I've also just seen, like, people getting forced into something they don't want. Because they feel like if they don't do it, they're not succeeding with their life like others are but it's not about competing against what others like other people's life is like if I I've dropped out of school personally if I saw someone that was graduating from school I'm just like okay whatever good for them congratulations to them I'm not commit I'm not gonna compare my life to theirs because what's the point what's the point in comparing your education and your future to theirs like the future doesn't matter pretty much, like, comparing the future. If they, you want something, they want something, you can both go get it no matter what. You just gotta work hard to get it. Nothing comes life, nothing in life comes easy, you just gotta go and get it. I don't know, I've just been thinking about that a lot 
I probably haven't even thought or said everything I feel right now, I don't know. I just don't want this to be too much of a long video, but it probably will be. <laughs> now it's just, just the things I've been you know, thinking about. I don't know what I want to do with my life, but I know now I could die in the next week, I could die in the next day, I could die in the next month, year, etc. I want to live every day to be the happiest that I can be until the end of my days. So I have memories and thoughts that I can remember of my life. I guess in my death, if that is the case. I don't know what happens, I just want memories of my life to remember one day and reminisce over. It would be very nice. I, I, I rec yeah, I just think life is about making every day the most. Life is too short to double think things. Just do what you enjoy. Don't get caught up with the mainstream guys and just be happy. Even through the tough times, just pull, hold on to something, hold on to someone, pull yourself out, be happy. It's not that hard. Uh, it's hard, but is definitely not impossible guys you can you, if you want something go get it be yourself have goals achieve do whatever you want in life don't get caught up with them guys be yourself yeah.